Miguel Iterati here at the iBot Vaults, and uh, we're going to go ahead and hit you with a UFC update. We got, obviously, UFC 187, the big show this weekend, but the UFC bounces right back next week. They're heading back down to Brazil with their Fight Night series. I believe it's Fight Night 68. This one's headlined by Carlos Cognit and uh, Tiago Alves. So, I mean, you got to, the UFC's facing, I don't know if it's adversity, but there's a lot of, you know, tumult around the UFC between, you know, drug testing and, um, you know, vacant titles and Nevada Commission uh, pressures or lack of, you know, oversight or whatever you want to call it. Um, as well as the Reebok deal and stuff, but you got to give them credit. They're a machine at this point. They uh, recently hit Australia, the Philippines, they're in Brazil, and uh, they've got their international shows lined up pretty much in a row. I, I look for that to continue growing, especially um, if the sport starts to receive pressure in the United States. It, it could be an interesting long-term uh, direction for the company. But anyway, Brazil, um, we got Carlos Condit here returning he's at 29 and 8 overall he's this is really going to be a chance for him to make a, a run because he we haven't seen him in a while and uh he's been injured and he didn't break through he held an interim title for a while but he didn't break through um against some of the top guys alves almost the same exact thing he alves is coming back after a long layoff he's, he's younger and he's not as banged up i think um, and the thing about Alves is he always had a lot of potential. So if he gets his head together, he was way young when he hit the UFC. If he gets his head together, he could be a potential dangerous fighter. Um, Condit is coming in as the favorite, minus 250. Alves is paying back plus 210. It's a five-round fight. The over-under is at three and a half with the over at minus 125 and the under at minus 105. The rest of the card hasn't popped up at the books yet, but it's a pretty decent card. Again, you've got heavy on the Brazilian talent. you got... Uh, Nick Lentz facing Charles Oliveira. Oliveira, um, both really are, are veterans. It's a nice little fight there for the co-main event. Um, you've got Norman Park taking his uh, sterling 23-1 record against Francisco Trinaldo. Um, you know, fighting Brazilians, the American guys traveling there. We'll see if that plays into it. Sometimes, you know, that's had a real effect, and sometimes it hasn't, uh, the Americans have been able to break through. You got Ryan Jimmo uh, facing Francisco Barroso, another uh, matchup of veterans, guys over 20 fights. You got KJ Nunes coming back. It'd be nice to see Nunes, you know, get off with his hands and, and, and do what he used to do. Um, he's fighting Jan Cabral. Cabral's 12-1. and one. I'm not sure we're not seeing the last of KJ Nunes here. And uh, they got a women's fight, a nice women's fight uh, pitting Brazilians. Juliana de Lima Carnero and Erica Almeida. Almeida is undefeated. Uh, Carnero's at seven and two. Um, nice to see that the UFC has at least one women's fight here. It would have been better to split the Brazilians up and maybe put a, a second fight up, uh, get some experience for some of the other girls and some of the other uh, countries and stuff. But uh, that's what you got. That's the main card for the UFC fight night coming up next weekend. We'll see you after UFC 187 hits us this weekend. Talk to you after the fights.